Have you ever wondered how often do you make choices in a day? You could say you do when you're buying something. You have to choose from several brands or choose which videos to watch, which links to click on. I am talking about active conscious choices regarding what you're going to do with the next hour. The truth is you don't. None of us do. We are living in safe environments with very selective choices in place to make sure your life seems complete. Think about it from the moment you wake up till you retire back to the bed. How many choices are you presented with? The answer is none. It's already solved. You don't think about them. You just automatically know in your house where to go, what to do, where the food is. In the sense of survival, you are set. What happens when you're living this life? Your brain doesn't have a problem to solve anymore. So you stop thinking. On a regular basis, we have millions of people who aren't applying their reasoning abilities at all. Don't take in any information that cognitively challenges them, nurtures them, basically not giving your mind any practice. Why does that happen? We live subconsciously. What I mean by that is conscious choices have been greatly overpowered by a system that is uploaded in our subconscious. Let me give you an example. The very first thing you do immediately after waking up is reaching for your phone. This is a subconscious act. You're not even fully awake, but your hand automatically goes for it. And if you actually think about it, the same happens with almost every single thing you do throughout your day. It is nothing for which you have to apply your mind. The system is there and you are completely trained in following it. What we don't realize is a day actually constitutes of several small actions from waking up to going back to bed. But these actions are so basic in nature that out of repetition, you now perform all of them subconsciously since they require absolutely no thinking. And this system is completely harmless and useful, which is why it is in place. Now enter two desires of the brain, ease and relaxation. Mental ease because who likes to work? You want things to be simple and binary. Second, relaxation, which we all know to love. These two words create a want in your life for things to be familiar and comfortable. Just like all those basic decisions that are carried out subconsciously. Try to understand what happens when you allow the desire for ease and relaxation to enter the already well-placed subconscious system and grow. By doing that, you create a subconscious lifestyle. To understand this more clearly, let me give you a few examples of your conscious awareness. Think of moments when you are presented with a problem, a friend comes to you for advice, when you make plans for your future, when you make choices that take into consideration all the alternatives and options, not just backed by whatever seems familiar and comfortable. In such moments, you are consciously awake and using your brain. Subconscious lifestyle is you being awake, but your thinking parts are still resting. Now again, this system is perfect for the basic functioning of the day, but very harmful and self-destructive when you add two more features called ease and relaxation because these two elements simply disturb and infect the entire system. How? Jobs, studies, learning, educating, examinations, competitions, promotion, business, all of these are human creations. They are imposed on you out of the need for sustenance. You need money to live. If given a choice, a lot of us would simply prefer to rest, have fun, party, have sex, shit, eat and sleep again. A lot of rich kids actually do just that. There is no confirmed genetic purpose attached to your living except for ensuring you stay alive and are healthy. Your brain basically works to keep you safe and functionally healthy. And how does your brain ensure you are healthy? By noticing if you are happy. That's why you're always looking for answers to the question, how do I achieve happiness? How to be happy? What is inner peace? And so on. That is essentially what you think is the purpose of life. Not realizing it is not something you intellectually figured out. That's what the most primitive answer your brain gave you to the question, what is your purpose? It's pre-fed to you and then told to you again and again by others. And we prefer this answer too, because it is very simple and we love simple things despite knowing how complicated answers related to life are. So happiness is basically what your brain cares for, not progress, success, goals, unless you have made them a strict priority. A lot of us don't. We say we have goals, but they are theoretical. You'd easily shove them away for a girl or a night out with friends. Now happiness is of two kinds. 
Momentary happiness and happiness that is a byproduct of a development. Momentary happiness comes from comedy, watching vlogs, looking at your picture, getting likes and comments, getting a reply from the girl you're chasing after. The point is, such happiness goes away pretty quickly, amounts to nothing and has no meaning. This is why it fits perfectly into the subconscious lifestyle. Your brain lives in now and cares for a simple question. Are you happy in the moment? From this, we get three desires. Easiness, relaxation, and the want to be happy in the moment. The inclusion of these three desires into your subconscious system basically means chaos, simply because there is no end to them. And because these are such basic desires that you love so much, your conscious mind is never able to detect what is causing this abnormality in your behavior. As a result, these are the things you find yourself asking and feeling. What am I doing? I have wasted my entire day on YouTube. I was supposed to start studying three hours ago. I have wasted yet another day. I hate myself. Why don't I study? Why don't I work? I think I'm addicted to my phone. I didn't do anything that I planned. Whenever you are having these inner dialogues, you talk about yourself as though you have no control over yourself. As if you were possessed and only now aware. You feel helplessness and anger toward your own behavior just three hours ago. It was still you, but it doesn't feel like yourself. In these moments, you feel a disconnect as if you don't even know yourself. Your goals are consciously chosen. But because your brain is receiving happiness in the moment, it doesn't see any point in shutting down this subconscious lifestyle and get back to work. So all day you stay in your bed, chair, couch, watching videos after videos, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat bullshit. You're not consciously awake for days at length. You are sentient yet asleep. You are posting, sharing links, sharing political opinions, debating people online. All of this because you receive a sense of belongingness. Don't bullshit yourself that you are part of a fight. You do this because it gives you a false sense of meaning to your existence. You really think debating in comments is meaningful input from you to the world? No, you lying sack of shit. It's a bullshit attempt to convince your conscious brain that you did something meaningful today. It's an escape from the fact that you are doing nothing for your life. And this escape is pointless because you can't escape reality by the end of the day or at some point after days. Faced by reality, your conscious brain finally takes over asking you, why are you not doing what you decided to do? Why are you not doing something to sustain your survival? Money, my friend, how will you get it this way? And suddenly, after seeing how much time you have wasted, how your own behavior patterns are totally out of control, you are thrown into panic resulting to self-hatred, blaming others, making decisions, making plans, more self-hatred, comparing self with others, and then finally, bargain. Bargaining is an inner dialogue in which you try to convince yourself that you will not achieve your goals anymore because it is too late. But the real meaning of life is happiness in being with a person you love or mediocrity because being rich is an endless fall where you keep wanting more and more and nothing is ever enough. You tell yourself deep philosophical things because you want to simply distract yourself from the truth. You failed. You wasted your time. And that's the truth you don't want to hear. You disappointed that dreamer in you. You failed him. You are a loser. Your conscious brain has to work twice as hard to convince you that Compromising is reasonable for the actions of your subconscious lifestyle. This is the story of majority of people and I bet you can relate too. Now let's talk about the second type of happiness. Happiness that is the byproduct of a development. By development, I mean climbing the ladder, achievement of some kind, skills developed, a step forward towards success, even the tiniest sign of progress. This kind of development takes time and requires focus, control and work which means it requires being consciously aware of the goal of the day, management of the day, retirement from the subconscious lifestyle after basic tasks have been done. All of this seems boring and unpleasant already, right? It actually isn't. You are in a battle between your subconscious desires and your consciously chosen dreams. The happiness from your subconscious desires evaporates and to be felt again, repetition is required, making it a loop of time wasted. Consciously chosen dreams require you to control your day and prioritize. That's all. Give your conscious lifestyle the torch and let it arrange everything. I'm not saying you can't be on Facebook, YouTube or hang out with your friends. Conscious awareness makes you the creator, the god of your choices. You, not desires, control your reality. You acknowledge desires and feed them accordingly. For example, you wake up and do not pick up your phone for the first time. You simply channel your conscious awareness, acknowledge that it is morning and you have an entire day to yourself. You take a deep breath, 
become attentive and ask yourself, what's the most productive thing I can do for myself? I want to help myself. I want to fulfill my dreams. I want to achieve what I know I can. So what can I do to help that? Fuck all my desires. Screw the girl I'm chatting with. Screw Facebook, YouTube, my favorite YouTubers. They are not going anywhere. Time is. Now again, I'm not asking you to break up with your girlfriend. Your conscious lifestyle will arrange everything. You will tell her, I am working. I will talk to you in the evening. Thank you so much for understanding. Do this, follow on what you decide, and you will experience a new kind of happiness that will fill your heart with confidence, self-love, and just blissfulness. That is my promise to you. I will post another solution to this problem, which is very pervasive in today's time because of the invention of smartphones and internet that have mightily empowered the subconscious lifestyle in this generation. That video will come tomorrow. Share this video with people you care about and subscribe to this channel if you aren't. Let's open our brains together. Also, my deepest thanks to all those who have donated to this channel. If you want to as well, you can do it through Paytm, PayPal and Patreon. Links are all below. Thank you for watching and don't forget, you are awesome.